all right you guys as you guys can see i only have three colors i'm only going to be using these three colors to paint the whole face and show you guys how simple it is to actually paint a face i already shaded the eyes because it's not about the eye tutorial i already have one i will be linking that down below but the first step is going to be filling up the face with the base color and in the next step i'm picking up this pink color and we are going to be using this pink color to add shadows almost so i'm just going to be starting off by adding this color on the nose and the cheeks and also around the eyes as well i'm also going to be adding the same color on the lips on the chin and around the face as well this looks weird and you also want to make sure that i just use i actually use tattoo inker to fill in the lips because lips need to be more pigmented but for the rest of the face i actually used a airbrush i will be giving you guys the name of that brush that specific brush you want to make sure you're using a soft airbrush because we don't want all the pigmentation onto the face right now that's not how we're going to be doing it you want to make sure you're putting light pressure onto the screen because we don't want this pink color to be covering up the whole face with all its pigmentation that's what not that's not what we are doing here all right so just make sure you're gentle with your brush onto the face and that's what you want to do that's the first step looks like um she has rosacea or he has rosacea i'm just so sorry you guys all right um okay so in the next step i am gonna be picking up this skin color the base skin color and again soft air brush and we are going to be using this brush and putting this color back onto the face i know it's it's a weird technique but it works you guys so i'm adding it around the nose and obviously underneath the eyes i'm also going to be using this over the cheeks just a tiny bit because right now the pink color on the cheeks looks a little too much that's the beauty about it you can just always you know play around and i'm also going to be adding it on the bridge of the nose so as you guys can see we already have a um, nicely shaped nose and we have just started doing it so yeah also you know you might want to play around with the size of the airbrush and also the opacity of it while you're doing so so that's that now i'm going to pick up this brownish kind of color which is not that dark but still and i'm going to be adding it around the nose around the nostrils and just to add a little more depth to the nose because it can be yes it can be just pink if you want to you can completely skip this step but i just wanted to add this color i just wanted to add a little more depth on the nose and also um right underneath the lips as well so as you guys can see i added this color around the lips as well and in the middle part of the lips just to add that depth to the lips all right you guys and i also added it around the face as well and you don't have to worry about the pigmentation if you accidentally put a lot of pigmentation onto the face you can always go back with a colorless brush and blend it out i love colorless brush i just love it and i also added it around um, the forehead as well now i'm going to be going back with the pink color and i'm just going to pick up a darker version of this pink color because we are going to be shading the lips this is the only time we are using some other color um, apart from the palette that we have and yes you might need to do it for the lips but you can actually skip it like you can like usually actually just shade it with the original color but i also did this thing on the eyes i think i picked this color up for the eyes as well for the uh, lower waterline and i also created this eyeliner thingy over the eyes so that's what i did this is not a part of skin shading i just did it because the eyes um did not look complete so i had to do that going back to the pink color once again i'm going to be using this right underneath the eyes to create this bag as you guys can see i use this color to create this bag thing underneath the eyes so that's that and um now i'm just going to be creating eyelashes again i have tons of tutorials on eyelashes i actually recently uploaded a short video about how to draw eyelashes if you're not if you don't want to like sit down and learn you just that is a quick one you can just learn it i will link everything down below you guys just check it out okay so that's how i did my eyelashes 
lashes and once i was done with it as you guys can see i also did the lips once again i think i used the color that i used in the on the waterline and i used it to i actually add some shadow around the lip area so that they look voluptuous they look um just to add that depth um over the lips like that once you're done with all that here we are going to be highlighting the face starting with the tip of the nose down the bridge of the nose also on the lips as well wherever you want to put you know these little dots of highlights as i just did over the lips use tattoo inker wherever you want soft highlight make sure to use soft airbrush any airbrush is going to work but i'm gonna be giving you guys a specific one i was using in this tutorial so that's what you want to do i also added this highlight right underneath the eyes as well over the little bag thing that i had created right underneath the eyes and yeah that's how you actually paint a face so simple especially if you're a beginner you should actually give this technique a try it's really simple then you can actually build on it and create and come up with your own technique so i really hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial if you did give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and i will see you guys in my next video